When you start building a website, you are often greeted by a blank page. Unless you plan to stick with the default white background, you will need to set a background to build upon. That's why we are kicking off this course by discussing backgrounds, starting with solid background colors in Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS comes with a wide array of default colors, each available in 11 shades, ranging from 50 to 950. But what if you need a specific color? Maybe a client has a particular requirement or you want to use a custom color. No problem. You can add any color to your project by configuring the Tailwind config file. First, let's see how to set a background color with the colors provided by Tailwind CSS. The utility class for this is bg-colorName-shade. For simple colors like black or white, you don't need to specify a shade number. For others, you do. If you prefer a transparent background, you can use BG transparent. Let me show that. So here I am in a blank project. I open my index.html. I just have a text in the center of the screen. Let me show the output. Now for this, we will add a background color. I'll add orange color. So once you start typing, you can see that there are these 11 shades that I talked about. I use the shade number 600. And for the text, I use just white color. And I don't need to provide a shade number for white. I'll save this. And you can see we have applied a color to the background and also to the text. You can also adjust the opacity of an element using the opacity modifier. Let me show that. For example, I'll add 50% opacity modifier to the white color text. So what I need to do is just add a slash and type the number. This applies 50% opacity to this text element. Let's save it. And now you can see that the color is not so white because it's 50% transparent. You can use the opacity numbers in steps of 5 ranging from 0 to 100 like 5, 10, 15 etc. If you want to use custom values like something that is not in the steps of 5 maybe like 22% then you can do so like this. You add square brackets and then you define the percentage of the opacity. I would say 22% so I write 0.22. So let's save it and you can see the difference now. Next let's add a custom color to the Tailwind config file. For example we will add a light green shade. Once added you can use this color in your project and the autocomplete feature in VS code will recognize and suggest it as you type. So let's go to the Tailwind config. Here inside theme, inside extend, here you have to define colors and here you have to define the name of the color and you can add the hex code of that color and save it. Now in the index.html instead of the orange 600 we will use the greenish background. You can see it is even suggesting in the autocomplete. So let's use that and I'll remove this opacity. Let me save this and you can see that our custom colored background is applied now. It's important to note that if you want to keep the Tailwind's default colors and add your custom colors, you should place them inside the extend section of your config file. So inside the Tailwind config, this is the place that you want to keep if you want to use the Tailwind's default colors. However, if you do not want to use any of the Tailwind's default colors, then you can define these colors inside the theme directly and not inside extend. Now what you are telling Tailwind by this is that you want to use only the colors inside your theme, like this set of colors that you will be adding inside this object and not the Tailwind default colors. Now if you save this, and in the index.html we have background greenish but we have the text white but white color is not a part of our colors theme so that will not apply so let's check the output you can see that the white text changed to the default black color text because we don't have that color available now in the tailwind config if you want to mix a few tailwind colors with your custom colors then you can also do that all you have to do is require the Tailwind colors, specify them along with your custom colors. So in the Tailwind config.js, 
above module dot exports require the colors then along with your custom colors add the colors that you want from tailwind i want black or white then you will write colors dot white and i also want yellow so i'll use yellow colors dot yellow and save it now i'll add background to this text element that is yellow and you can see that the yellow autocomplete options are coming now and we have also given white in the tailwind config so now we have white yellow and greenish color so we have these three colors and let's see if they are being applied as you can see we have the custom color and we have the tailwinds yellow and white colors just like tailwind offers multiple shades for each default color you can do the same for your custom colors as well here is how you can define your custom shades for a color in your tailwind config so inside tailwind config.js you remove the colors that we defined let's add a maroon color and for this maroon color you want to add three different shades so you create another property and inside that you mention the three prop three shades now maroon has light default and dark you can use the light shade by using the class name bg maroon light and dark by bg maroon dark however if you are using all caps default then you don't need to add a suffix to the color when using it in your classes for instance instead of using maroon default you can simply use maroon you can also replace these descriptive suffixes like light and dark with numbers if you prefer such as 100 200 etc similar to tailwind's default color system let's add these colors in the index.html now notice that you can only see bg maroon maroon light and maroon dark not maroon default so we'll use the maroon for the whole background then for the text background we will use maroon dark and for the text color we will use maroon light let's save this and you can see now we have all the three shades of the color Another thing to keep in mind here is that when you are defining colors and using multiple words for the color names like green, yellow, fairy, orange, something like that, you have to enclose them in quotes. For example, let's remove these colors. If you want fairy orange, and if you define like this, it will not work it will show error you can see here there is an error in the terminal so you have to keep them in quotes and then save it and then it works and you can also use this here if you remove the quotes then it doesn't work You can see no suggestion is coming so let's add quotes let's save it now see the output as you can see we have the background that we have defined and since this bg maroon dark and text maroon light are not defined in tailwind config it doesn't appear now it's just the default black color text lastly if you need to use a custom color just once or twice and don't want to register it in the tailwind config you can directly add the hex code in the elements class itself so in the index.html i'll remove everything so bg hyphen you add the square brackets and you just add the hex code that you want let's save this and you can see that the new color is applied without adding it in the tailwind config I think we have covered enough on this topic. In the next video, we will explore gradient colors. See you there.